City Skylines 2 was just announced and after watching this trailer, I don't know, 50 times at this point, I am so excited for the game. I've had access to this trailer for a couple of days now and I've been coming up with lots of crazy theories about what might be in this game based upon this trailer and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's jump right in and we'll take a look. First of all, I love the analogy that they're drawing here between the growth of the natural environment and the growth of the built environment. I think it's really awesome. And I want you to pay attention to the music. I think that the composer of the soundtrack for City Skylines 2 could be Ramin Jawadi. Now this is the person that put together the soundtrack for Westworld, for Game of Thrones, Gears of War 4 and 5. Just an absolutely amazing composer. I'm really looking forward to hearing the rest of the soundtrack. I hope I'm right about this one. Time to start from the beginning. And we see this wonderful desert scene. Now I wanna stop here, and I know we are at this point 17 seconds in, but I'm gonna go down a huge rabbit hole. This is Colossal Order telling us something huge. They're telling us the game engine that they're running for City Skylines 2. So this is the linchpin of all of it, this golden gas station. So I, I saw this and I thought, wow, that sign's really, really clear. That must mean something. Now I know it says not actual gameplay, but that doesn't mean it's not the actual engine. So I Googled this and I ended up finding this video by Joachim Stigson. He created this asset as a demo of what Unreal Engine 4 could do in terms of realistic buildings and realistic lighting. I downloaded Epic Games Launcher and I downloaded the Unreal Engine and look what I found. The Desert Gas Station, you can buy it for $40. And this supports Unreal Engine 4 and 5, including the newest 5.1. So this set me down another rabbit hole. I wanted to know the differences between Unreal Engine 4 and 5, what makes 5 so much better. So I found this video by Unreal Sensei where he goes over the five things that make Unreal Engine 5 so important. And this thing's gonna have a huge impact on the game. First of all is the new Lumen engine. And what this basically does is provide bounce lighting. Rather than rendering the light on the textures, it'll happen dynamically. And generally lighting's just gonna look a lot more realistic in the game. Next is Nanite which this is the, probably the biggest change that I'm most excited about. It provides dynamic level of detail. What this does is actually gets rid of loads. So you know what loads are. You're zooming into the map and all of a sudden the tree changes because you get the more detailed load. What the dynamic level of detail does is you always see the polygons that make up a particular object in the game, but they dynamically deform. So if you zoom out, you're going to see fewer polygons in a particular item. And if you zoom in, you're going to see all the polygons. So this is going to be game changing. It will look clear no matter where you are. No more popping. It also comes with metahumans, which will allow the generation of really realistic looking humans. Hopefully all of them will look different, so there won't be quite so many Phillips. And then they have the Quixel Bridge, which is where I actually found the desert gas station. So a ton of assets that you can bring into a game that look realistic. But the real big thing in the Quixel Bridge is mega scans, which are real scans of real objects in the real world. So the company that puts together these mega scans has gone around the world to grab scans of real world objects. Everything from rocks in Utah to different trees and other environmental features. And my thought is that some of these are going to be available to you in the game, which is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to make it possible to create really realistic looking environments. I can't wait. So this also might mean that you want a better graphics card if you're going to play City Skylines too, because you might be able to take advantage of some really impressive graphics. And if you downloaded the Matrix Unreal Engine 5 demo, you know just how good this can look, how seamless the transitions between scenes can be, and how real the world can be. Some of these worlds look photorealistic. The people that are generated look absolutely amazing. So this little scene right here might be the most important thing that developers are telling us. All right, let's keep going. Yet evolve into something new. Okay, this is really interesting. Oh, stop right here. I-94 and I-43. <laughs> the second scene in this trailer takes place in Wisconsin. I assure you I had nothing to do with this. I don't know why <laughs> this is the case, but this is actually in Milwaukee. So check this out. This is Interstate 94 in Milwaukee, pointing to Chicago if you're heading south. And then 43 goes to Green Bay. Now, the reason I know this is in Wisconsin is because Interstate 43 is only in Wisconsin. So this is absolutely fascinating to me. And exit 310A goes to Marquette University. This is right downtown Milwaukee, going to the lakefront and the port. I think it's amazing that Wisconsin is represented so prominently in the trailer. Do they just really love Milwaukee? Do they love Wisconsin? Do they love the zoo interchange? 
Is City Skylines too set in Wisconsin? Are there scenarios based on real cities? Can you import the roadway networks of real cities? Or maybe I'm just getting trolled, hard to say. I may never know, the world may never know, but either way, Milwaukee is represented. Second thing you see in the trailer, and it's taking place in Wisconsin, at least this portion of the trailer. It's amazing, I love this. <laughs> So then we see this scene, which is a super detailed roundabout, which makes me wonder if we're gonna have more control over traffic management. You also see a lot of interesting things here on the street as well. You see an urban cafe and what looks like a mixed use building. And it's just a lot of traffic control. So I think we're gonna have better traffic control features in the game. This city has a story. And you can tell there's a story. So I wanna zoom around here a little bit. And what I see, first of all, is a mixed use building. So we got a coffee shop, what looks like a Vietnamese restaurant, a liquor store, residential right next to it, residential up top. There are people walking on the streets. There's graffiti. There's a lot going on here. It, there's a lot of detail here. It seems as though every single person has been rendered individually and there might even be demographics in this game. I could mistake this for a photo or I could mistake it for Grand Theft Auto 6, if that's what they said it was. But then we see a transition right here between one type of district and another and the street is different on either side we right here we've got someone parking on the sidewalk which is just that happens on narrow streets that were designed for horse and buggy and not cars and that's awesome and then we also see a whole bunch of mid-rise buildings here and look at this this is Madison, Madison Square, I'm guessing. I don't know. It feels like there's some discussion of Wisconsin in this. I'm just gonna say it. These also have a very traditional building style. This looks like a traditional bank, a traditional residential with ground floor retail, which is really cool to see. Uh, and one more thing, I see a speed hump here, which makes me wonder the level of detail we're gonna be able to get into with traffic management. And if safety is a thing, because you wouldn't have a speed hump unless you cared about speeds and safety. World created now look at this this looks totally photorealistic and then we get into the weather mechanic here which is pretty outstanding the rain the effects it's having on the camera this looks real like it looks like the water's actually pooling i don't know if we're gonna have some sort of mechanic where we're actually looking at storm but look at the level of detail here the wires going across showing the power lines we've got people again parked on the sidewalks bike racks bikes left uh, strewn about in the street, garbage. There's a lot going on here. This is a city that's teeming with life and that's what they wanna show you. And then we get underwater and we get to see this. This to me looks like the future. So it makes me wonder if a SimCity 2000 style game time progression exists in City Skylines too. Is that why these buildings look so futuristic? So there were a lot of comments when the airports DLC was released that a ports DLC should be coming as well. And I'm thinking we don't need it. Look at this. It looks like there are detailed ports already that are potentially coming with this game. There's so much going on in this picture in the water. And it looks like the water is really activated and it's beautiful. Look at the rippling and we've got a bird, some seagulls. They're going to maintain their, their presence in the game. Shape the future. Look at the clouds and moving too. And this is the most exciting part. I think this all but confirms Dynamic Seasons, which is amazing. I'm also noticing we've got One World Trade Center back here. And again, a skyline that looks pretty modern and futuristic. I think we're actually starting to see some of the game models that might be in the game for some of the high density buildings. And look at these tree models, absolutely amazingly detailed. You're seeing right here some weeping willows, one of my favorite trees. Absolutely beautiful. Expand way up high and bring life to your creations. So taking a look at this, this to me looks like there's some familiar buildings. Uh, it, it does make me wonder if some of the character of the original City Skylines is going to be brought into City Skylines too by way of some of the vanilla assets. Airplanes. We're going to have airplanes and airports in the game. You heard it here first. Now, 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 look at this. Look at this. That right there. Little blue bird. This confirms it. We're getting Chirper. Chirper's going to stay in the game. A 
couple of interesting things to notice here. First of all, there are construction workers and things are happening. I noticed this in a couple of points, but I'm wondering if there's going to be some sort of feature where you can customize certain types of infrastructure, the look and feel of it. And if you could do that, create signature infrastructure pieces, you could make every single city that you create feel really, really special. Here, you are the visionary. Oh, check this yeah. out. Just the, 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 the sheer the size of this. So I think that's what this is to demonstrate. First of all, I see a couple of things. I, I see it's kind of the, the Manhattan sort of outline here, even though Manhattan clearly is not anywhere near the mountains. You see a really active waterfront, key walls all the way across, different piers and docks going all the way up and down, different environments, and kind of the mashing of a bunch of different types of cities all into one. Your imagination is the limit. You see some of the utilities, monster campuses right on the coast. I think what they're saying is that this game is going to be huge. As big as the 81 tiles unlocked maps were in City Skylines 1, I fully expect seeing this, that this is going to be even bigger. And I I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I think that this game absolutely is going to be killer if the trailer is any indication of what's to come. What do you think? Do you think I'm totally off base? Do you think that I got some of these guesses right? What do you think is going to be in the game based on what you saw in the trailer? Are you as excited as I am? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these other videos that's on the channel? You might enjoy that as well. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.